The knee, if it's straight, does not rotate from the knee down. But if it's bent, it does. But again, because everyone's bones are different, how much you can rotate is different. And that's what we're about to see. I have Jean on the floor because I have to have the knee bent to twist it. If the knee is straight, this is not a twist of the knee, this is a twist of the femur. But when it's bent, she flexes her. Now just from the knee down, she can rotate. Now how much can Jean rotate? I'm going to grab it and I'm going to turn it out this much and she can go about to there. That's about 45 degrees, maybe slightly less, 40 degrees. And then I'm going to grab it and use the foot as a lever and take it in that way and it hardly goes. So she barely gets a few degrees turned in and she gets less than 45 turned out. So her whole range of motion of what she can do from the knee down is maybe 50 degrees or so. If she tried to do any more than that, she'd be seriously threatening the integrity of her knee and asking for trouble. Again, if the knee is straight, the leg is straight, this movement of the foot has, is not indicative of what's happening in the knee. It's indicative of what's happening at the femur. But if we allow her to bend, Scoot up just a little bit. If we allow her to bend and I flex her foot up, flex this, I'm going to move it for her to make it a little easier. I go, that's about 45, 50 degrees out to the side. And this is about 45 degrees, slightly disguised by the ankle, in. So you add those up together she's closer to 90 to 100 degrees of rotation, about double of what we saw Jean do. I mean, it isn't because one did yoga different or did a different yoga style. This is the bones you're born with. I've had students who can do 135 degrees of rotation from here down. You, you have it or you don't.